when Iowa Hospital is taking patient safety to the next level. University of Iowa hospitals and clinics are now using an integration system to help improve infusion medication safety. CBS 2 News reporter Mugo Odigwe joins us live from Iowa City to explain what makes this so special. Mugo? Scott and Tiffany, what the new system does is pretty much straightforward. It simply aligns various hospital equipments to help eliminate the possibility of errors. Okay, Fred, we're going to go ahead and just scan your wrist here. At first glance, it's a normal procedure for infusing liquid medication into a patient. So we've always used an electronic medical record here at the University of Iowa. Um, we've always scanned the patient wristband, which, ha which is a barcode. They also scan the barcode on the medication to ensure that it's what the doctor ordered. Um, typically, though, when we would do IV fluids, we used to just manually program them in by pushing these buttons. That's where they type the rate that the IV fluid will run. Now, under the new system... We still do all those verifications, but instead of manually pump or manually uh, dialing in the amount and the volume that we need to run in, the computer system does it. So there's less human error. Meaning the patient is less likely to get the wrong dose of the medication. It's something hospital leaders say they've been working hard to put together. In this circumstance, we were working with our uh, electronic medical record vendor, as well as the vendor who provides us our smart pumps. Those are pumps that we use to give medications to patients. Dr. Douglas Van Dale says it's all about getting the hospital devices talking to each other to make sure that patients get exactly what hospital doctors have prescribed. It's important that we use these technologies that are available to us to make it the most safe place for them to get their care. Something some patients here appreciate. So I'm for the system. The hospital has been working on aligning those devices for more than a year now. They officially started using the new system in February. Covering the corridor in Iowa City, Mugo Odigwe, CBS 2 News.